Hey, this is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be looking at using Sprite Sheets inside of Flash Professional to export multiple symbol instances and integrate those multiple symbols into Animate. So this came about by uh, this blog post that I have that details the basics on how to use Sprite Sheets inside of Edge Animate that are exported from Flash Professional CC. And you can go and read that here, but somebody commented way down here about perhaps using multiple symbols between the two programs. So I replied I wasn't exactly sure. So let's actually have a look inside of Flash Professional and see how this would work. So I've got to create a movie clip symbol here. So I'll just create a basic oval. And I'll select that and choose Modify, Convert to Symbol. And let's just call this Ball. And this will be a movie clip symbol. I'll put its registration point to the center and hit OK. So inside of this movie clip symbol, if I double click on there, I'll be able to do a small tween. Let's go to frame 30. And I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard to insert frames. And from here, I can then choose to create a shape tween. And of course, I have to go and add a keyframe to a shape tween, so I'll do that. And use the transform tool to simply increase the size of that shape. So we have this basic tween right here that we'll use. So back out to scene one. So I'll give this an instance name of B1. And I'll copy that two times. I'll call this B2. And this one here I'll call B3. So on B2 and B3, let's go and actually make some adjustments on these. So let's add a blur filter on this one here. And on B3, let's go ahead and add a glow to that. And we'll make it an inner glow. And we'll actually put a little glow on here too, just so that they look different enough that we know it's three separate things going on. So I'll put a glow filter on there. I'll choose green in this case. And we'll choose an inner glow. And there we go. I can actually apply that glow first before the blur if I want to. So now we have one, two, three separate, um, separate movie clip symbol instances here. If I select all of them at once and right click, I can choose to generate a sprite sheet which contains all three of these instances. So we can see B3, B2, and B1 are all selected here. And in my sprite sheet, we see them all represented. If I go to preview these, we can preview each one just fine. We can see that animation happen. So as we saw, we can choose a data format for the particular sprite sheet. So let's choose Edge Animate for that. And we can see that this doesn't change anything. We're still including all three of these different symbol instances. We're going to save this as sprites.ping. So let's hit Export. And then hopping over to Edge Animate, I'm going to go to my Symbols area in my library, and this Animate composition has absolutely nothing in it, and choose Plus Import Sprite Sheet. Here I can choose my Sprite Sheet and hit Open. And of course, because this is uh, something I created with Flash Professional CC, I can choose to load that EAS file alongside we can see here that we have three animation clips detected in the EAS file. And what we'll do is hit import. And check this out. We have actually one, two, three separate symbols that actually get imported. So that is massively cool that you're able to do that from Flash Professional CC into Edge Animate CC. 
as we can see, we can drag along here and see those symbols actually going. Clicking inside of any of these symbols is going to show us all these different frames here, all these keyframes. And if we go and actually test this, so I'll hit Control Enter to test, we can see that they just tween beautifully inside of Edge Animate. So that answers that, and it's pretty awesome.